Hey, what's up guys? You boys, Pilot 2K7 back with another American Truck Simulator video. We are back with the Peterbilt. We actually changed up the skin and we installed this Caterpillar skin on it. I thought it looked pretty cool, so let me know what you guys think about it. And we're actually back in Phoenix today, guys. So we left New Mexico. We're back in Arizona. We're actually going to be transporting a really big dump truck. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing started up. And we're actually already at our starting location. So let's go ahead and get inside and take a look at what we're going to be uh, transporting here today. So welcome back, guys. Hope you guys are all having a great day. And I thank you guys for coming back to the channel and tuning in to today's uh, Trucking Thursdays episode. And as you guys know, I try to play this game on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And if you guys have any suggestions on things you would like to see, definitely let me know by... um leaving a comment down below in the comment section. So we are going to go to freight market and oh, it looks like I actually lost my cargo. We didn't get here in time. So we could also do this heavy haul. Uh, let me see if there's, is there any externals maybe? No, it's not going to be any externals, actually. Okay, so I'm going to think about it. Um, I really wanted to do the huge dump truck, so I think I'm going to just try to find another job. All right, guys, so I slept, uh, I think, two or three times, and I'm getting the same jobs for now. So what I wanted to do, well, actually, I can't show you because I'm stuck in here now. So let's just take this for now. All right, so they're getting everything loaded up and checked. That's pretty wide, actually. Oh, that looks nice. Got a plane taking off in the background. All right, so we're looking good, guys. All right, let's do this. So we already know how to do all of this stuff. We are going to get escorted. Uh, by the pilot cars and we actually did install some new pilot cars as well so the pilot cars also has a nice caterpillar skin on it as well so i was hoping to haul something a little bit bigger today but this is all good this should still be a lot of fun so i'm gonna turn on our caution lights here uh, let's open this up and let's actually go here so we're doing a haul truck hole i wanted to do a whole truck but i guess we'll just do the hole and uh, let's see, it's 48,000 pounds. So that's actually not too bad because we have been doing some transportations of um, things that weigh 100,000 pounds. So that's actually not too bad. Um, let's go here. Okay. All right. So it looks like we're going out to the left, All right? Yeah. Okay. So let's get going. Put this in gear. All right. Now we are using our track IR as well, which really helps out with like looking around. So highly recommend it. If you guys do like playing a game, definitely check it out. Definitely makes it a lot more realistic when you kind of look around like this. A lot of fun too. And I do have a, a Amazon link to it in the video description if you guys want to check it out. And it does support the channel. If you buy that or if you purchase like anything on Amazon, just by clicking the link doesn't change the price for you and it just helps support the channel. So free way to support. All right, guys, so we're making this left. And as you see, they have the road blocked off and we're going to be getting escorted by looks. Oh, Arizona DPS, Department of Public Safety or Highway Patrol, state troopers, state police. I know every state calls it something different but they're all pretty much the same thing all right so we got 181 miles to go now we are gonna have to watch for traffic as well even though they have the lanes blocked off we got to make sure we don't side swipe any of this traffic there who's beeping at me i don't think they're beeping at me we gotta watch for poles as well, poles and trees on our right side, because this thing does hang over a bit on each side. 
All right. See you guys. Let me know what's going on with you guys. It's Thursday. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I actually just got back from Atlanta. So I drove from New York to Atlanta and that was a ton of fun. And um, if any of you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys probably already saw most of the road trip. And if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? Go follow me, man. AcePilot2K7, same as you two. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. But I had a lot of fun, though. It was a long drive. Oh, why are you moving? I didn't think he was going to move there. It was a long drive, but it was fun, though. Definitely did enjoy it. Oh, oh, we just took out a sign, guys. Oh, oops. Okay, well, we're going to have to pay for that sign now. I got to be really careful on these turns because this is extremely wide. Don't want to hit any big poles like that one we nearly hit there. And that guardrail is actually pretty close, too. Do we have that um third part of the trailer back there, too? Let me look and see. All right, so we got one, two parts there. And no, we don't have the third part of the little boy trailer. Okay. So we're not too long, actually. I actually saw a lot of cool oversized loads on the um, highway as well. I got to look and see if my dash camera caught any of it. I could probably upload some of the clips. And I saw a lot of cool, like, state police as well. This truck better be stopping there because I can't stop, bro. <laughs> I always like the uh, motorcycle cop there. Oh, we barely made that up, made it up there. All right, so we're cleared to go up to 40 here. So yeah, I saw a lot of cool oversized loads. I saw them, oh man, I hate this. I saw them transporting um, a house a um, bunch of construction equipment. I saw a bunch of pilot cars. It was really cool. Okay, that wasn't a bad lane shift, thank God. Those, when the lane ends, those aren't the bad lane shifts. It's the ones where you just have to switch lanes. Those are the really bad ones. But sometimes the pilot cars just come to like a complete stop. Which is kind of scary. Hopefully it doesn't happen today. Let's get some nice views here. We're going to have to make sure we take a screenshot as well. Damn, that's wide. Oh, goodness. I'm about to die in this cinematic view for you guys. <laughs> oh, but if you guys do enjoy the episode, make sure you guys do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know if you guys would like to see more American Truck Simulator. And also, give me suggestions on what trucks you guys would like me to use. Got about 150 more miles to go.
Oh, yeah, also, guys, like I was saying with the uh, trip, I'm going to be uploading some videos of my trip as well. I'm probably going to upload some of them on one of my new, new channels, which is called Ace on the Move. So make sure you guys subscribe to that one. That's going to have like a lot of cool real life videos of me, you know, traveling the place. And then I also saw some fire department and police vehicles too. So I'll probably upload those on my other channel, which is going to be Ace on Scene. So make sure you guys subscribe to both of those channels and I'll put them uh, down below in the comments section for you guys and probably in the video description too. Oh no, I hate changing lanes. Here we go. What are we doing, right? Lane shift? Okay. That wasn't bad either. Okay, we're good. Uh, traffic's gonna try to start passing us now. Well, they could probably pass in the left lane, but they definitely can't pass in that middle lane. Well, look at that van trying to pass in the middle lane. He made it though. Not safe, but he made it. Oh! Oh, I'm so bad with cinematic camera. I don't think we ever transported like fuel before. Maybe we should try that. Oh, I just nearly hit a car back there. All right, let me focus, guys. These cars are really trying to pass me here. But that's okay, I'm just really hugging the right side of the lane and keeping the cargo in our lane. I just gotta make sure we watch out for disabled vehicles or poles, barricades, anything like that in that right lane. Now we're going to the left lane. So the truck behind me is supposed to go first. I can't really see him though. And then the uh, police car goes second and then I'm supposed to go. Come on, get over. See, I'm about to just get over on my own but I'm supposed to wait for him to get over first. If he doesn't get over, I'm going to have to just do it myself here. See, I hate when that happens. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong with that. See, he got over in the back. So now this guy's supposed to get over, but he came to like a complete stop. And that's what always messes me up here. because now he's just gonna stop here. And if I hit him, it's game over.
Maybe he's waiting for this car. There we go. Okay, so he was waiting for that car, so we gotta really make sure we don't let cars get in our lane when we're trying to get over like that. But at least we got through it. Most of the time I end up messing that up and hitting them or something like that, so. Oops, shifted the wrong way. All right, I'm just not gonna let traffic go past me. They're just gonna have to wait. I'm so happy we were able to save that there. Where are we going again? I forgot. We are going to... Don't even know. Come on, you guys gotta stop trying to pass me. He's still trying to pass. Come on, my guy. He's gonna hit the cargo. Alright, I'm not gonna get in an accident. speed right here. All right, down to 60 miles. Ooh, that was close. A lot of horses when we're on the road as well. A lot of farms and horses, cows.
Alright, looks like we're arriving in town here. Now we're gonna make a right turn. Let's make sure we slow this baby down. I just wanted to go like super wide just to make sure we had that. Yeah, in these city streets, we really have to block two lanes. There's no way we can fit in one lane here. All right, out here we could do. Scenery is really nice out here too with the mountains and everything. Alright, we're down to our final 10 miles. Should be there in a couple minutes. Traffic. Oh, I did not see that blue truck there. I was close. I was so focused, paying attention on my speed and not hitting a cop car. I forgot to look at my mirrors. Not take out that police car. All right, zero miles. We're here. So hopefully we can get into the parking spot. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky because there's not much space to turn in and straighten up. I mean, there is enough, but you just got to really cut it properly. Just watch out for that bus stand. Yeah, we almost took that out. Now we may have a straight in delivery here. Wow, 
Oh yeah, we got this. I should just close straight in and we should be good. And we got it, guys. That was actually our easiest parking while doing this. So, let's go ahead and start detaching this thing. And let's see how we did. Excellent. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So, we drove 182 miles, 10 hours of uh, game time, 42 gallons of fuel. We made 16,600. I'll take that. Yes, indeed. Hey, right, guys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. And um, let me know down below in the comment section what truck you guys would like me to use next. I think we're going to give the Peterbilt up and maybe check out something else next. Because we have been using this Peterbilt for like six episodes or so. Even though we changed it up and changed the skins, it's the same truck. So... Let me know if you guys want me to change it up. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Have a great Thursday. Like I said, make sure you subscribe to my other new channels. I'll link them down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.